Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. I will have my meal plan linked down below. The things I'm having this week. So for breakfast, I'm going to make a crock pot protein, apple and cinnamon oatmeal. And then for lunches, I'm just gonna do some like lunchable, adult lunchable bento boxes. One of them's gonna be like a Greek one and then just some other ones. And then for dinners, I'm gonna do a creamy Alfredo broccoli and cauliflower chicken bake. I'm gonna do some Parmesan chicken cutlets and then some barbecue chicken burgers and like a creamy sauce. And again, I will have all of those linked down below. Um, meal prep tomorrow, we'll have the oatmeal and then we'll do the bento boxes. And I'll probably prep the chicken burgers just to have those ready to go. So let me show you what I picked up. I have one new food find to show you. And other than that, let's go ahead and get into this. So we have some bananas here, apples for the oatmeal. I need a cucumber for one of the bento boxes, which will be a Greek bowl. And some tomatoes to snack on. These tomatoes will go into the bento boxes. Um, one of the bento boxes, I'm gonna do a BLT turkey ham roll up. So I picked up a tomato for that. Carrots for the boxes. For those roll ups, I needed some shredded lettuce, so I picked up some of that. A few salad kits to go on the sides of my dinners this week. I plan on just having the meal and then having like vegetables or salad or something on the side. So I picked up a Mediterranean chop kit, the dill pickle chop kit, and the Caesar chopped kit. Some tzatziki sauce for the Greek bowls. Also for the boxes, I'm gonna be doing some of this jalapeno honey hummus. For the chicken Parmesan cutlets, I picked up some of the grated Parmesan cheese. For a couple of the recipes, I need some rice cauliflower, so I picked up two of those. And then for that cauliflower broccoli bake, I need one of the rice cauliflower and then also some broccoli, so I picked that up. For those Greek bowls, I'll need some feta cheese, so I picked up some of this creamy feta. I just picked this up just to have it on hand. Sometimes it's hard to find, but this is the mesquite marinade mix. This is really good, really good with chicken. Um, for the Parmesan chicken um, cutlets, I thought I'd try this. Never tried it before. It was on clearance at Safeway, so I thought I would just give this a try. For the oatmeal, I'm gonna put some dried cranberries. This is the reduced sugar dried cranberries. For that creamy Alfredo broccoli, and I'm kind of making that up. I'll link to the original recipe down below, and I'm just gonna use this Alfredo sauce in place of the heavy cream that's in that recipe. So this is the light creamy Alfredo Classico sauce. For the Greek bowls, I'm gonna have to, um, make a little like side salad. So I wanted to use some of the sugar-free balsamic vinaigrette for that. I actually picked this up to use in place of that heavy cream until I saw the Alfredo sauce. I already had picked this up before I saw that. So I can use this in my coffee and stuff as well and other, and other cooking things. Some pickle stackers. This will be for those roll-ups I was talking about. I picked up some fat-free mozzarella to go into that Alfredo bro broccoli cauliflower bake. Some reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese. I think I needed this for the barbecue chicken burgers. And then for my bento boxes, I picked up some of the reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese sticks. For the roll-ups, I picked up some smoked ham and then also some oven roasted turkey breast. For the chicken burgers, picked up the 98% fat-free ground chicken. This one is zero points. Um, this one's still on sale at Fred Meyer or Kroger, whichever one you have. So I picked up some of this. A big thing of chicken because I'm using chicken for all of my meals this week. And then the one new food find I saw was this new flavor of Bolt House Farms. At least I've never seen this in my area. This is the Fire Chili Ranch. Curious if any of you have tried it. So I just kind of picked it up on a whim. I'll have to give it a taste test and let you guys know what I think. And that is everything. So again, check out the description box for links to recipes and stay tuned for tomorrow's meal prep. Bye guys.